Hi, I am Gonzalo and I am going to talk to you about what I think is the most important research experience I have ever had. So, voltage gated sodium channels. These, well I will just call them sodium channels. And these are trust membrane proteins that play an important role in the electrical signaling of cells. They are the target of drugs that are used to treat chronic pain, epilepsy, and cardiac arrhythmias. And that is why it's important to study human sodium channels. Well, there are no crystal structures of mammal sodium channels, unfortunately. And there is a bacterial sodium channel that is inhibited by many human sodium channel blockers in a similar manner. And the crystal structure of this bacterial sodium channel, the complete crystal structure, was published last year. So with another two students, we thought it would be a good idea to make a computational model of this prokaryotic sodium channel so that it could be used in the search for molecules with an affinity for human sodium channels. And well, what did we do? We first started with um, the structure that was provided by the paper, we inserted it in a lipid bilayer, we added water, we added ions, and well, we started our equilibration simulation. Once the position of all the atoms in the protein is constant, our system is equilibrated, and only when our system is equilibrated we can start to get information from the system. So after the equilibration, what did we do? We put lidocaine through the pore of the channel and, uh, well, lidocaine is an antiarrhythmic drug and according to scientific literature, it should bind to the vestibule of the pore. And that is what we found. And, well, there are still things we need to validate our system. We need to get the binding energy, we need to get the conductance properties. But this is a good result, so our system is a candidate to provide a, a pharmacological method, and that was the main objective of this project. Well, what was the hardest part? Um, I think finding the uh, right pulling speed, because well, we, they gave us a pulling speed in class, uh, um, but it didn't apply to our system, so we had to look for a new pulling a speed, and sometimes uh, simulations can take their time. Uh, well, what what do we need? Why and why was it hard? Because it we had to find the, the slowest possible speed, but it didn't have to be too slow, because if it's too slow, it's going to the system, another part of the system, and we wanted to go through the port. Um, well. Uh, after failing a lot, <laughs> and we found the right speed, so I think we overcame this problem by being persevering. And when we found the right speed, we put it at that speed, and we found a good result. It was totally worth it because you could really see which amino acid, which part of some amino acid was making a hydrogen bond with some part of the molecule. And you could really see what was going on at the point of highest affinity of the molecule for the channel. So it's really interesting and it was really worth it. Um, the, the most important things that I learned from this experience, the relationship between the neurotoxins and ion channels, uh, the importance of crystal structures for many fields, not only computational chemistry, also molecular biology, in other fields, and well, how lidocaine binds to this particular bacterial, sol bacterial sodium channel, and well, all the hours, <laughs> I also learned that all the hours I spent studying and working are really worth it, the result was really interesting, and there are still things to do, but I think we're in a good path.